you uh, raise a very important point. I think um, the cost of storage technologies have certainly been coming down over time. But I don't think we've reached the inflection point as yet where you can integrate it and have an integrated solution which will be cost effective compared to some of the fossil fuels there today. Clearly a lot more investment needs to go in. Uh, we have just recently we're hoping to try our first integrated solar plus uh, storage deal in Africa somewhere. So it's still early days where we are looking at it. But what we've seen is when we look at these two combinations, the costs are still relatively high. So just a couple of uh, data points is that the expectation is that the global storage market will be close to three gigawatt, sorry, 3,000 gigawatt hours by 2040 which is over 100 times bigger now, and that will be over about $650 billion in investment. So in some ways, this actually reminds us of where solar was about 10 years ago, where it was expensive, the costs were high, and it wasn't really socialized or it wasn't democratized the way we would like it to be. Uh, I think it's a matter of time before the solar, uh, sorry, the, the battery technology or the storage technologies also get there. Uh, I think they will need to have a lot more closer engagement with utilities and enterprises uh, who will be key for making the grids fit for increased volumes of renewable energy. And I think uh, the thinking is that according to the BN BNEF energy storage outlook, forecast is it will grow to almost 30 times uh, between 2020 and 2035. Yeah.